Thanks for listening to Middle Aged and Mediocre. I'm Cash. I'm Joel. And uh, we are a podcast about all things strange and unusual, death and UFOs, and other creepy, Cults, weird, random ghosts. stories. There you go. Yeah. No, uh, I'm just naming things in the room. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a cult of ghosts. <laughs> Gun Radio presents Middle Aged and Mediocre. Hey, they say let's all go to the movies. So Joel and I went to the movies. We went. This is Cash. That's Joel. Uh, we are here with another movie review. Uh, a mammer. A mammer. If you will. Yep. A middle aged, mediocre movie review. We went. We went big this time. We went big. We risked the conditions. We wore our masks. Yep. We followed safety protocols, and we sat in a basically empty theater. Yeah, there were there's uh, six other people in there with us. Yeah, we got there just a bit early, early just enough to be able to outside. pick anywhere we wanted to sit. Right. So we got back row. Yeah. So this is the movie review for a brand new movie just out in theaters. Yep. Starring, came out Friday the thirteenth. Starring Vince Vaughn. It is called Freaky, and we're here to talk about it. Yeah. Uh. I seen it, and there's gonna be spoilers. Uh-huh. Like it'll be in the title, of the uh, episode too. But yeah, we're got, we're gonna spoil everything. It's, yeah. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, stop you, watching. Uh, I don't think we'll ruin it for you. Come back gonna, after. We're gonna spoil. So what's going on, man? What was the? Give me your give me your thoughts on the movie. In general, all oh, on the movie. Just your <laughs> roll them as soon as the movie was over. What were you thinking? I can't wait for this end credit scene. Yep, yep, you did sit through the entire end credits. I don't know why. Well, we got there so early, I figured we should stay late, too, just to, like, sandwich it all properly. Yeah, I think we turned an hour and, like, 20-some minute movie into a three-hour adventure. Yeah, we got there a half hour early. You know, they weren't even showing anything on the, on the screen when we got in there. But, uh, but I, I like the movie. I like Vince Vaughn. You know, it was, uh, it was just, like, a lot of good death scenes. A lot of like really kind of lame shit too. Yeah, but the death scenes I think and Vince Vaughn definitely put it over the top. He made it just not like another like horror, you know, movie. Right. So this uh, so Freaky is uh, a comedy horror type movie, uh, rated R, hour and forty two minutes long. Felt shorter than that, actually. Yeah, it did. Uh, so what happens, basic premise going on here is there's a uh, butcher, a serial killer. Vince Vaughn. Deranged maniac. He's got a crazy mask. Yeah, that he steals right off the opening scene. Uh-huh. He steals a mask and a what turns out to be a cursed ancient knife. Yeah. Uh, it starts but, hot. Yeah, it starts right off with Vince Vaughn with four really good kills. Really good kills. I mean, like, throwback to... I think the classic '80s horror movies. Yeah, I, I, I got a lot of that vibe. Just, I mean, he was a really good killer, and those first four kills really set the tone. Yeah, uh, all. But I knew what was coming after that. It seemed like all practical effects. Like it didn't seem like a lot of CGI. Yeah. So it all looked really good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he right off the bat slaughters. Four, he butchers them. Four teenagers. He's got to live up to that name. Yeah, he's the Blissfield Butcher. He's not the tickler. He's not. No. This takes place in the in the amazing town of Blissfield. Yeah. So, uh, which, this is like in ways like kind of like uh, they pay a lot of homage to slasher flicks. Uh-huh. So like I'm Blissfield, Hatfield, yeah. For Halloween. Uh, yeah. I think then, this is Wisconsin. Is that where it was supposed to be? I think because the Aaron Rodgers thing later on. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, that's just that's what I got. There was that one. Makes, there was yeah. a really good gag yeah, with an Aaron Rodgers mask. Yeah. Uh, that's cool. So, yeah. And then while Vince Vaughn's butcher character is uh, killing these four people, who apparently he was... Uh, the movie does not explain a lot. No. Like... They kind of just throw you down and, like, they... You know, which is cool, I guess. I mean, 
they, they, they waste a lot of screen time, but I guess they don't waste it trying to build up, like, Vince Vaughn's, like, motivation or character role. But, yeah, so he's he kills these four teenagers who are at the one girl's house alone. Yeah. And apparently this is, like, the wealthiest. Uh-huh. These are very wealthy people. So, again, I'm not sure if Vince Vaughn's character was there to steal. I That's the feeling I got. This specific thing? Yeah. Because or... they made it sound like he knew what he was doing, apparently. So then he was... I. Yeah, so he takes this cursed knife that we were mentioning, and he takes this mask that he wears uh-huh. when he first is killing uh, kind of just a Jason, a Friday the 13th, Jason Voorhees. It doesn't look like that, but I'm like yeah. the mass killer. Yeah. Like they're definitely, you know, rolling back to all the uh-huh. 80s classics. Uh, it makes it more scary because you can't see the face. Yeah. So then uh, then we meet uh, our uh, main, our heroine uh-huh. of this movie, uh, Millie. Millie, Vanilli. And a lot's been going on in her life. Uh-huh. So you want to sum that up? Her dad died a year ago. Uh, her mom's a drunk. Her older sister's the cop in town, and she's just trying to get through high school, man. Yeah, she's got she's got ponytail and glasses. She's like just the nerdy white girl. Yeah, the movie does a pretty good job of uh, where they're taking two completely different kinds of people uh-huh. and having you know having yeah. them clash against each other. They do a good job of. Starting this movie out, straightforward killing, murder, horror, and then we immediately switch to Millie's like life. somber, sad drama. Yeah. It's like an episode of something on the WB. Very WB ish. <laughs> yeah, very WB ish. She's got like the stereotypical gay best friend. Yeah. Who's like even his license plate says, Hey, bitch. <laughs> yes. He's uh, played by uh, Misha Ostrovich. He's a funny actor. I mean,. The- He's a good character and stuff. But it's the, yeah, it's like a very stereotypical yeah, gay character. Yeah, from like all those uh, horror movies. Millie yeah. is played by Catherine Newton. Um, and it's one of those movies where you're supposed to believe that this incredibly gorgeous yeah. young woman who's like the definition of what like American beauty is, yeah. is somehow not yeah, she's the all hottest like, girl at school. She, yeah. Because she's kind of weird. Like, There's like kind of. Uh, like dresses a little too big and, uh, yeah, and like oh ew <laughs> she's wearing a dress yeah, ew gross was, like back in ponytail like I said yeah I kept waiting for the scene where she was painting and got paint on yeah. herself and like had to like <laughs> take her glasses off but uh she's also the school mascot yeah like she played she dressed up as a beaver college it's a lot going on yeah, um, they like stopped during the game to throw a can of pop at her yeah just to prove, like, you know, just how the cool kids feel about her. Like, they all hate her so yeah, much. Yeah. Uh, I but, mean, you know, she's pretty uppity with her dad dying and stuff. She has a She's coming. still talking about that. I know. Uh, <laughs> so, she ends up uh, getting left behind at the school. Because her, her mom's, mom's drunk. Her mom's too drunk to come pick yeah. her up. So, uh, just so happens that the the butcher... He's standing across the street from her. Uh-huh. Uh, he comes to attack her. That's and, a good little scene. Yeah, they. she runs, hides, yeah. normal horror stuff. Yeah. Ends up, uh, he gets her, he's on top of her, and the moon, we're right at midnight. Yep. And he, or we're a little bit before midnight. Full moon, though. Full moon, though. Stabs her in the shoulder. The knife lights up, the eyes light up oh, red. Yeah. That was neat. Yeah, and then he stabs her in the shoulder, but oh, what's this? He feels the stab, too. He gets the wound in his shoulder. So there's some weird... And then it's, her sister shows up. Yeah. Shoots the gun, scares him And runs him off. off. Scares the butcher off. Uh, but, I like, they there is the scene... I didn't pay attention to it, because uh-huh. the, the, we're going to get to her, but there was a woman in the movie theater with us that <laughs> laughed the entire movie. <laughs> uh, but... It was during the scene that they explained what the knife's curse was. Yeah. That I was distracted. Do you remember? Uh, no, because I think I was looking at that. You lady think you laughing. were distracted too? Because the lady thought it. So they had to get. They have to get um, the knife, the curse, yeah. explained to them, and it's in Spanish. So they go to their Spanish teacher, and this lady. 
that was in a movie theater with us <laughs> thought them struggling to understand the Spanish was the funniest yeah. thing. She she got a she got a chuckle. She out loved it. it. Uh, which you know, more power to her. Uh, she seemed like a delightful lady. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying to f- see if I can find out what the supposed to be the curse is. Because like they took Millie to the hospital. She went home, took a bath, went to bed. And then... Then Midnight Hits on Friday the 13th. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they switch bodies. They switch bodies. So she, so she wakes up as a he. We see Millie wake up, but yeah. it's it, but it's it's the butcher inside of her yeah. body. So uh, right off the bat, like, you brought it up, and it was my first thought was, like, Oh, uh, we're gonna get like really creepy, where like the butcher's like exploring this like <laughs> young girl's body, but he, they just do like a real quick like little thing where he like kind of cups his yeah. boobs, and that's pretty much it. That's so like all. they, at least the butcher's not uh, <laughs> the mom yelled that like she needed her downstairs or something. Yeah, so uh, she's kind of like walking around a daze, uh, trying to figure out what's going on because it's the butcher's point of view, uh-huh. and they they grab a knife. Like they're gonna kill their mom, the sister, or the sister. Yeah, and then the, the mom, mom cuts them off. Hilarity. Yeah. It's yeah. it's wacky. Yeah, because they don't know. They just think it's Millie. But then Vince Vaughn's character, <laughs> the, uh, wakes the up. body of Vince Vaughn, wakes up and it's got Millie inside it. And that's just that's comic gold. So from there on, it's all this lady in front of us chuckling. <laughs> uh, she is just. I I told you that she didn't seem like she really like. Any of the points of the movie that were supposed to be funny, uh-huh. that were like written jokes, like she didn't really react to. Yeah. But just throughout the entire movie where they're showing the premise is they switch bodies, she could not quit <laughs> shuffling. She, just the entire idea of this. This father is a girl? The entire idea of it but I, I love delighted her. too, though. There were funny parts. Yeah. Um, but so then you get your normal... Uh, this is wacky, and I'm not... She's got to prove herself to the friends. Yeah. There's a fun little fight scene there. So while she's proving herself to her friends, uh, Millie, the butcher. the butcher, is killing people. Yep. Got some other cool kills in there. All the kills in this movie are really good. It's not that off-camera shit. Where, like, no, no, you see, yeah, it's all... It's all on camera. Uh, and they So the first four people that die, like, the first four kids that die... The younger, the high school kids, uh-huh. uh, like they, like we were talking about it, they didn't really establish them as anything. Yeah, like there was the one, the guy was kind of uh, douche, yeah, douchey, but they just died to set out that this was the killer. But then every character after that that dies, like they go out of their way to be like, this is the worst human. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna miss these people. Yeah, like they, it ranges from one girl's just kind of like a bitchy. Mean girl, uh-huh. all the way to three dudes are going to rape yeah. one girl. The mean teacher. So like it goes to all the. But yeah. if you do anything that kind of makes you shitty, you're but a fair game. That have kind of been shitty to that girl all along. Yeah. So. Uh, but yeah, we get a scene earlier where it's still Millie and Millie's body, where the woodshop teacher, played by uh, Cameron from, mm. what's the movie called? Uh, uh Fuel's, Ferris Fuel, Bueller's Day Fuel. Off. Yep, you nailed it. Uh, I did not. Cameron plays the woodshop teacher, and he's just a dick to Millie. So he, he eats it pretty good later on. He gets a screwdriver through the neck. Yep. Uh, and then like an idiot. Alan Ruck. Alan Ruck. And like a moron, he pulls the knife or the screwdriver out. Yeah, if you ever get stabbed in the throat or head or anything, don't pull it out. Yes. Leave it in. Leave think the screwdriver. Think of your old friends at middle-aged and mediocre. That's, just keep that in. That's the middle-aged and mediocre <laughs> tip of the day. Don't pull it out. Uh, get to a hospital. Then he gets sawed in half. Yeah. Really cool looking that death cool. there. Yeah. Uh, the mean girl gets like frozen. They have a. That's so weird. They have that at a high school. This high school has a cryogenic. Tree. Yeah. It's. I mean. Uh. Like. I guess. It's, well, it's a, it's an expensive looking city actually, so it yeah. kind of makes sense. Yeah. Like it looks like a very rich neighborhood. They want the best for their athletes. For their so football team, get, yeah. It's like a, they need to get 140 degrees below zero. But she got 300 degrees. 300 degrees. Yeah, yeah. Why would they have machines? Why, why would it be set for that? 300 degrees below zero. And, of course, the Vince Vaughn, Millie as Vince Vaughn the Butcher, opens up the door and it falls. And you can probably guess what happens. More hilarity. <laughs> yeah. More hijinks. <laughs> uh, I, what, I could never really establish if... 
the butcher character was supposed to be like just a idiot, like a brain dead killer, uh-huh. or not? Was there a plan? Like, yeah, that's why I don't understand. Even did, before did the switch, the, okay. Like when he was like lumbering around the like again, like is he just at this like house randomly? Really, yeah, really rich house randomly to kill, yeah. or is he there to steal? I think he was there to steal it. I, I loosely, I think it was all like a plan, but they just didn't concentrate very much about that on the pa- on the movie. It was all pretty much as Millie's end. Uh, so yeah, so the the woodshop teacher gets killed. Um, M- Millie and Vince Vaughn's body convinces her friends that she's her inside this man's body. Uh, she kind of starts to realize that she's big and strong. Yeah. So she like there, she gets. There's this, like, shitty guy in the men's bathroom. <laughs> yeah. And that she only like, scared her when she was just little her, you know? Yeah. And now, with, as Vince Vaughn, he really put the fear of death into yeah, him. Yeah, he, like, grabs her by the, grabs him by the throat, holds him against yeah. the wall. Imagine Hulk himself. Hogan in, uh, in No Hold Bars. Yes. There's only a, he didn't poop himself. He no, peed himself. Pee-pee. What's that smell? Pee-pee. Pee-pee. <laughs> uh, so then, let's see. Uh, they cancel the... The homecoming dance mm-hmm. because of all the murders. They've been murdered. Pretty smart of them, yeah. if you ask me. And the kids are like, no, no, no. Uh-uh. We're going to throw a party. Yeah. And we're going to throw Millie suggests, Millie. The butcher. The butcher in Millie's body. Yeah. Suggests they do it at the old mill. The old mill. They'll never suspect that. <laughs> Other than Scooby and the gang. Yeah. No one ever checks the old mill. And we don't got to worry about those four nope. and their dog. And their dog. Maybe that's who they killed in the first four scene. That's the first scene. Maybe those were. And yeah. we just we were spared seeing the dog die. Thank you for that. I appreciate you, yeah. freaky. Uh, so then uh, yeah, they're setting up that. They realize they're going to have to capture the butcher and Millie's body. They have until midnight. They have until this, midnight. The, they got to stab. They won't switch back. Yeah, you got to stab them again. Yeah. Apparently, those are the rules. Vince Vaughn as or Millie as the butcher has to stab <laughs> the butcher as Millie. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, so they set up, they end up, uh, they do at, was it at the party that they get, they get her? Yeah, yeah. 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 So they go to the party at the old mill. Uh, no, when do they capture her? <laughs> we just saw it. Oh, uh, I can't remember how they captured her now. Because they got to take her to, uh, they captured her, tied her hands behind. Oh, they knocked her out. He, she hit her with the putt putt. It was at that putt putt thing. Yeah, it yeah. Like okay. The it's like an arcade. In the dark arcade. They were like at a glow yeah. in the dark arcade. Putt putt thing. That's that, it. That's yeah. And he hits her hard. Yeah, hits herself. Like it's Vince Vaughn. You know, uh, yeah. it's the Millie and Vince Vaughn's body. Hitting, and Vince Vaughn's a big dude. Like they the picked the perfect guy for this. Yeah, hitting butcher in, in Millie's body. So knocked her and he out. swings and, the golf club hard. Yeah. You see it like wrap around her head. It was a yeah. good looking like, yeah. prop. I like that. Yeah, because even like uh, Vince Vaughn was walking around. You know, once Millie was inside him, and he's like, "I'm a giant." Yeah, <laughs> hit his head on the branch. Uh, so they they get um, the butcher in Millie's body, mm-hmm. and they take Millie's body uh, to Josh's house. And they tie him up. Uh, the crush, Millie's crush, the high school football player kid, yeah. the jock, he somehow, he's he was there at too. The, he was at the putt butt thing, and he got knocked out there, so they took him. Yeah, so uh, he freaks out when he wakes up because there's Vince Vaughn staring at yeah. him. And then Millie inside Vince Vaughn's body proves that she's her. I've read a poem. She recites a poem that she wrote. It was so bad. And anonymously puts I in. I wanted to kill myself during that part of the movie. I was like, this is just dumb. Yeah. Uh, so she, as Millie, before the switch, <laughs> she put an anonymous note. Follow along. In the football player's locker, confessing her love yeah. for a poem, but it was anonymous. And she was just a little nerdy girl. Yeah. So, But it turns out in the end that they, they actually, they've dug each other this whole yeah. time. Yeah. But, so they... Uh, they decide they're going to go to the police station, steal, take back the uh, the knife that's now in the evidence uh-huh. locker, and then come back, stab Millie's body. I'm just be done with. Switch it. the bodies back. Yeah. Uh, so they leave Josh there, the flamboyant, stereotypical <laughs> gay guy. Hey, bitch. <laughs> and uh, they head to the police station. So then Josh's mom comes back, and she's back early. Yep. Uh, cause you know, what are the odds? What are the, that always happens. Uh, so 
Millie, well, the butcher, yeah, and Millie's body ends up getting free, yep. escaping, uh-huh. uh, and while they're trying to steal back the knife and evidence, Millie's sister catches them. More hijinks ensue, yep. uh, and now Millie's the butcher's loose, headed to the party. At the old mill. Yep. Well, first she goes and gets the knife at the. She gets the knife station. at the police station. Yeah, she ends up at the police station with everyone else. It's so. It's, it, there's a lot going on. Uh, so then they all meet at the old mill. Uh huh. And there's party popping off. There it is. So we figured that she gives them su- the suggestion for the old mill. Let's say three <laughs> thirty. Yeah, it was after school. Like right after school. Let's say three thirty. The party is happening at. I mean, they have 10 minutes to spare yeah. when they get there, so we're we're at 11.50, but this party looks like it's been going on for a while. Music is bumping, lights. So somehow, in seven hours, basically, they deck the old mill out. Yeah, a couple and hundred kids show up. I'm guessing the old mill doesn't have power set up to it anymore. <laughs> so they have to rig up power, uh-huh. run it to this old mill. Sure. They got music playing, lights, fog machines, I Hell think. Hell of a party. Hell of a party. That's I was too concentrated on the party, the rest of the movie, to really. Uh, so they end up. Uh, the, the knife happens. Yeah, but they said the the Millie figured out like this must have been the plan oh, all yeah. along. This is that to get the kids to the old mill for some. Which reason. again, I don't know if that was ever actually supposed yeah. to be the plan. Yeah. But yeah, all of a sudden it's like they could have just could have killed him at school. We could have, like why? I don't understand the old mill. Yeah, but uh, Millie is trying to like Millie. The butcher is trying to take out random people and like uh-huh. the one jock kid. Like you said, pretty much just assholes that you know they, he doesn't really kill any like good innocent kids. Yeah, uh, yeah. So you know he's basically he's a good killer. Yeah, because uh, it's Vince Vaughn. You gotta like Vince Vaughn. But even in, as a girl, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, so in the end, uh, they do this body swap back. Uh-huh. Uh, Vince Vaughn is back as the butcher. He gets shot like Three they, un- times? they unload like two clips in him. It I looked think. like four times. It didn't look like it was all in the, all in the chest. Yeah. I thought mostly chest upper. No like, headshots. It's all going to hurt. Yeah. Uh, but Hey, he's not dead. No. We get a little tail end of the movie. You think, you think it's over and then they give you like another ending. And then there's another ending where yeah. he comes back to the house and I guess, like, now he seems very, uh, he can speak very clearly, uh-huh. uh, has a lot of plans, and he plans to switch the bodies back, I think? I don't, I, didn't, I think he's just back for revenge. Or was just back know. for revenge. No, he can't let a bunch of girls beat him. But right when it looks like he's going to uh, come out on top, uh-huh. uh, the three, mom and her two daughters, yeah. team up, fuck Vince Vaughn up, yeah. ends up driving a wooden stake through his heart. Not the one side. Girl power. Girl power. There's a couple of previews too that were like uh, girl power movies. I thought looked pretty cool. Yeah, the one was like a a, like a, a sp- woman's place or something like that. I don't know. If that's I don't think they'd call it a woman's I'm place. Sure Maybe that's they what, did. Yeah. But. Uh, uh, the one was like a spy type thing. It looked god awful. Yeah. Uh, I think it was just the trailer was bad. <laughs> Uh, the way they put it together. But uh-huh. The one, yeah, yeah, I don't, which, yeah. I can't remember. My spies thought like that was both of them were like, uh, oh, the the one was like all the women coming together to like have the the three five five. Or That's the spy. That's the shitty looking yeah. spy one. Yeah, but it's girl power movie. Yeah, but it just looks like I said. The ter- it might have been the trailer, yeah. but it looked terrible. I can't remember what the other one was now. Oh well, but well, yeah, they she falls in love and then the guy's dying. Oh, not that one. Oh God, oh, dude, not that I don't one. Know. There's one about brothers, but there's another one with. They like, all uh, looked awful. Yeah. Every movie they did a preview for, I was like, well, that's what we have to look forward to, huh? Now that the Corona is yeah. taking over. Yeah. Uh, movies are done. I like Freaky, though. We might have watched the last good one. Yeah. Uh, honestly, the kills in Vince Vaughn were only. Like, like the the whole thing with, like, the love interest was just. Yeah. Forced. There was a lot in it that didn't need to be there. Like, Vince. <laughs> like, the boyfriend was flirting with Millie as the butcher. In the back of the so, car. So Millie's in Vince Vaughn's body. Yeah, but the... And Vince the, Vaughn's in the back seat with Millie's crush. Yeah, and he still is like... Uh, it's just And so he confesses weird. that he's liked her forever. Yeah. And he was glad that... He was hoping it was her that wrote the poem. Uh-huh. And then at one point he's like, can I kiss you? <laughs> and she's As like... Vince Vaughn. She's like, you realize you're going to be kissing a... a 
six six giant with yellow teeth. Something, yeah. <laughs> He's like, but I know who it is on the inside. <laughs> like, and then they like, do kind of kiss. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's really awkward. So what the whole movie felt like to me was uh, a series of SNL sketches. Yeah. Like, I felt like this was basically an SNL sketch <laughs> that they would have done over a few different episodes. Like, look at this big giant guy as a girl. Like, if Vince Vaughn was the guest host, yeah. this is definitely what I would have seen them, like a body swap. and uh-huh. uh, With really cool kill scenes. But then, yeah, so then I felt like they, so you take an SNL sketch, uh, give it to Bloomhouse Productions so uh-huh. they can get a really good, you know, effects people in yeah. there and have like a horror writer. <clears throat> and then they get all that done, and then they got to fill some time. So that's where you get all your WB drama is filled in there. So, yeah, a bunch of Dawson Creek stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this movie, more than anything, shows that uh, SNL sketches don't need to be made into movies. Uh, like, I liked it, but it was yeah. just very, very lazy through so much of it. Yeah, it's not like uh, it's not a movie that going to like make you be like, wow. Yeah, like, like really the, blow you away with the story or anything. But I mean, you, I laughed enough, and I thought the kill scenes were cool enough. Where I, I would definitely give this a passing grade. Yeah, I'd yeah. watch it again. We also didn't pay for it. Yeah, our buddy, uh, we have a buddy named Dave uh-huh. uh, that works at the theaters. Um, hadn't seen, I hadn't seen him in a while. Yeah, I haven't seen him since last time. I was but I think he actually theater. owns that theater now. Oh, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so he hooked us up. We're so, just putting news out there now. So we watched rumors sure and speculation. The world. Pretty sure he won the presidency. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, for uh, for not paying for it. Yeah. Always love a good movie. I don't pay for. There's that one spot like that was on the screen or whatever. Yeah, that, I'm so glad you pointed out to me. Cause <laughs> I hadn't noticed it until then. Uh, it was there the whole. So movie. yeah, I don't know. It just to me, Close like I said, rate it. Uh, like a four. Would you watch it again? Probably not. Really? No. Oh. It seriously to me, like it felt like it, like I had this whole day planned in the future where it comes out on DVD and I come over and we watch it get you know together. What? I don't like that day. Oh man, <laughs> no, that day sounds awful to me. My. <laughs> make a do, make a different day. Oh. Uh, yeah, I felt like it could have been a really funny ten minute SNL sketch. Yeah. Uh, and then that's all I needed. Wow. So. Wow. The the deaths were good. Uh, I say, uh, four and a half because the deaths. Good day, sir. That's what I say. I'm leaving. <laughs> so what would you rate it? I'd give it a good six five. Okay. Yeah, six six five, and I'd watch it again. Well, all right. You, know? you are uh, you're pretty and much. I disassociate with anyone who wouldn't want to watch it again. <laughs> That's That's fine. How much I liked it. That's fine with me. Okay. You know, you just go. You marry the stupid movie. <laughs> See if I care. You would care. Uh, what do you think IMDb ranked it? I already looked. It was like a six. You son of a right? bitch. Six point eight. Yeah, but that didn't influence my. Okay, rating. so Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. Remember zero to one, one to one hundred percent. So the higher the number, the better. Yeah. Probably sixty seven percent. So the tomato meter. Uh-huh. That's what they call it. It's at eighty three percent. Eighty three percent. That's pretty good. And then uh, audience score eighty one percent on audience. So it has a pretty good rating on Rotten Tomatoes. It, was, there, it, it had some heart to it. It was, you know, I guess I, I shit on it a little bit just because, you know, it wasn't my favorite part of the movie. But, I mean, they definitely, like, the female Millie character definitely did, like, evolve a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You know? So she kind of learned, like, she's kind of, uh, at the beginning of the movie, she's kind of, like, retreated into yeah, herself. Real meek. She's, uh, she wants to stay, at her, you know, with her mom because uh-huh. her mom's, or she's kind of getting, um... Uh, you can't be everything to everyone <laughs> and not yourself. Yeah, her, like her mom's kind of uh, over. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Overbearing. Here? Not, just no, since they since they lost, you know, their dad, clingy. their husband, clingy. Yeah, she's afraid to like leave her mom yeah. on her own because she doesn't know what'll happen. So yeah. she's very like. Well, she'll get drunk again. Cause yeah, her mom's an alcoholic. So by the end of the movie, though, she's learned. That you know she's strong and yeah, killing a murderer will really cure you, <sighs> cure you of your alcoholism. It really. I don't think she was an alcoholic. <laughs> uh, yeah. So let me get the let me get the trivia up here. So six point eight. You gave it a six point five. Yeah. That's probably the highest rating I think. Yeah. Did, did it have a beginning, middle, and end? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, so you were in love. <laughs> you you that gets you. That's like a four right off yeah. the bat for you. I had like two ends. It did. <laughs> I mean, wow. Does that add a point for you? <laughs> yep. So let's, middle end end. 
Let's check out something here. It was originally proposed to be called, it was going to be a crossover with the Happy Death Day franchise. Yeah, I haven't seen I those, like those yet. I like those movies. They're good. But they were going to call it a Freaky Death Day. Yeah, it definitely, I mean, it has that vibe to it. If, you like, if you've like, if you seen Happy Death Day 1 or 2 and liked it, you'll definitely dig this. Uh, it's, yeah, all Bloom House. Yeah. Um, original name of the film was going to be Freaky Friday the 13th. Oh, I which, like that. You know, yeah. Reference to Freaky Friday films and then... Uh, the Friday Thirteenth oh, movies, and I didn't even get that part. I just liked it. You just liked what? No, I got it. I further explained. Uh, you mansplained it right to my little brain. <laughs> well, actually, uh, at the football game, uh, Booker, he's the crush. Yeah, he's the guy that she got a crush on. Uh, his last name is Strode, which is a reference to uh, Halloween. Yeah, Laurie Strode. Yep, Laurie Strode. Uh, never seen it. Never seen it. Know I, everything about it. Never seen it. Never seen it. Uh, anything book. else that's interesting here? Um, Vince Vaughn was in uh, Clay Pigeons. Pigeons. Yep, that's a good movie. Uh, Not really trivia. Oh, so the director, co-writer guy is Christopher Landon. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Okay, never mind. I thought he wrote all these. Uh, but yeah, these all make sense. The so the inspirations for this movie: uh, Scream, Scream Two, yeah, Urban Legend, yeah. Cherry, uh, Cherry Falls. Cherry Falls, love it. Really good. Uh, Fright Night, The Blob, Jennifer's Body. So uh, the first few there, Scream 1 and 2, Urban Legend, and Cherry Falls, dead on. That's yeah. what these movies feel like. Oh, this movie felt like yeah. those kind of movies with Vince Vaughn being hilarious. So, yeah, and really good death scenes. Um, yeah, I, it was it was good. I mean, if um, you got weak stomach, you're puking the whole movie. <laughs> right off the bat. Yeah. You're not. It's just when you're done cleaning up your puke, it's just more puke from this movie. How good the death scenes are. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. If you man. have a weak stomach. Uh, yeah. Say if you have a weak stomach, you know. Uh, again, I really enjoyed the lady in front of us. Yeah. Uh, she really did make the movie a, a good experience. Like no one else, none of her friends laughed at anything. Uh, uh, <laughs> nope. she was just giggling. Nope. Like just... her friends, because at first I was like, ah, oh, these two, like they're just talking, you know, they're yeah. Then I was like, I don't know, the one's not interacting at all. Like, yeah, it was, I assume two couples. Yeah, but it was boy, boy, girl, girl. They didn't do the. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, the girls want to, you know, they want to be able to talk to each other if they want to. I guess. And the, you know, the fellas do too. The fellas want to gab. Uh Uh-huh. But, yeah, so I assume it's like. I want to sit by my girl to get the handy. Well. That's why I get the big popcorn. Yeah. Put a hole in it. That's you. You're a gross pervert. A little butter in your pee hole. Ugh. Uh, it's it's hot. It's melty. Uh, yeah. So, but they she just, giggled at things, just like not laugh out loud, funny. Just, just like, dude, that, it was a steady stream of giggles. Yeah. Like I said, she just, just tickled the by premise of the movie. Uh, she just the whole time just kept. They switched bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Vaughn isn't a girl. Oh, uh, yeah. She, like like I said, she didn't laugh at jokes. Uh-huh. Like when they would actually do like, like jokes. really stuff. cool death scene. She didn't really react to that stuff. Because that uh, stuff, I'd be she, like, whoa. Yeah, she wasn't there for that. Yeah, yeah. you did. You, you kept going, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Every death scene was weird. I didn't like it. Uh, I'd get up, spin around, just start hyping it. It was a lot. <laughs> spin my hype towel. I feel bad for the other six people in that movie. <laughs> yeah. later. I don't. <laughs> You're an ice cold killer. <laughs> uh so yeah, go see it. Yeah. I mean, it's well, yeah, go see. We're stay at home, wait for it to come out, <laughs> watch uh, it once. But hey, movie theaters right now, like if you live in like a big city, I get that it's probably not the best uh-huh. time to be going. But like around here, like there was like we said, six yeah, people. Every other row was like taped off where you couldn't sit down. I mean, yeah, I was, you know, I was, I, was, I wasn't worried, but like I was wondering, is this thing gonna fill up? You know, because. Even at, like, you know, they only would have sold half the seats, but I wasn't too right. worried about it. Uh, yeah, so I'm going with 4.5 on this one. Not right. not my favorite thing, uh, okay. but a fine, fine way to spend a couple hours Yeah, with you. With me. Come get me. I'll go watch it with you. Best way to spend two hours with Joel yeah. was to be in a situation where he can't talk. Yeah. It's perfect. I, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> All right, so on. Uh, what else we got? We got a uh, couple. Got a couple feel goods. We got, feel, we got Joel's feel goods. Joel's feel goods coming up. All right. I looked up a couple stories just so we can end on. These this. are just to, you know, with everything going on in the world, uh-huh. the Corona, the election craziness, 
uh, just the whole mess and chaos of the world. The Dallas Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys, which who are an embarrassingly <laughs> awful team. Just dog shit. Yeah. Uh, these are just stories to uplift your spirits. A little bit, yeah. Shine a little light in yep. the dark life that we call the world. So, Joel's Feel Goods. Here we go. This first one is in uh, Queensland, Australia. Ooh. 2017 Gavel. Crikey. A German Shepherd who didn't quite make the cut as a police dog, got fired. Uh, despite going through the train and everything, he just didn't have in him, you know, to be uh, to be like a, a police dog. You know, he didn't have that hunt in him or whatever. But according to the story, he was offered another job by the governor of Queensland, which I thought was so funny that they offered it to him. <laughs> like, he would have been like, mah, mah. But they, uh, they, they, they changed his uh, service to Vice Regal Dog. So he was just there to make people feel good. Okay. So he couldn't be a police dog because, you know, he didn't want to, like, harsh anyone's vibes. Because he was like, look, I'm not shooting <laughs> yeah. unarmed black dogs. <laughs> oh. So uh, the story also said now the political pooch <laughs> spends his days. Uh, he's welcoming guests on tours That's of the adorable. Queensland of the government house. Australia, good for you. Yeah, they what's he called again? He's called Gavel. A... No, but what's his title? Oh, he's a vice regal dog. A vice regal dog. So is there like a regal dog? Apparently so. And he just invites. He just welcomes and greets guests. Yeah. So he's kind of like an old greeter at Walmart. Yep. But he was just. He they was can't just, be cops. He either. was a good boy, and he just didn't want to be a cop. Well, I'm glad the good boy got. So I like that. That's a good one. Good job, Australia. So there's, there's we need to have more dogs elected positions of. Authority around here, I think. I think so, too. Like the dog mayor. Yeah, we need a dog mayor. Yeah. yeah. Dogs don't need to be cops, man. President Dog. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be, that's a good movie. Ruffington. My dog, my dog the president. My dog, my dog <laughs> yes. Like some dog, some people's dogs like get into the trash, you know, like chew up expensive things. Like, what'd you do, Spot? I was like, oh, I ran for president and won. <laughs> rough, rough. <laughs> You're like, oh, Spot. Oh, Spot. <laughs> All right, next one is about a cow in Poland. I like it already. Who is being shipped off to be slaughtered. And before they could get her up in the truck, she kicked through a metal fence, broke a worker's arm. Oh, yeah. Jumped in a lake and swam to an island in the middle of the lake in <laughs> Poland. Lake, lake Nysik. And uh, I read a couple different stories. The first one was a feel good. The first story I read said that the, a local politician ordered a stay of execution, and they just let the cow live on the island until it died of natural causes. So that's the no. first story I read, and I was like, I'm going to Google this a little bit to try to get some more information. Yeah. Well, actually, what happened was it, it did, it, it, before it got put in the truck for slaughter, it escaped, swam to the island, but then it spent weeks just, like, avoiding people. Like, they would go to the island to try to get her, and she would just swam, swim off again. Yeah, because they were trying to kill her. <laughs> yeah. So then they, uh, they finally, it took five people and three shots of sedatives to capture this cow again off the island. And then, like, the cat, they put it on a truck, and they said they weren't taking it to slaughter. They were going to take it to a farm to well, live off. they respect off. it now. Yeah, they were going to take it to a farm to live off its natural life. But the cow woke up in the trailer and died. Great. So, so that's the real story. That's not very, that's not really feels good. <laughs> Sorry. Those are Jules feels bad. But it, it's, it fought, you know. It, it, it lived on the island for a couple weeks. Should wow. I just thought that the first... I shouldn't have Googled any more information. I should have just said that and the cow lives on the island now. And uh, oh, I really liked the story <laughs> when it was just a, a cow triumphantly conquered an island. And it it oh. took five people and three sedatives. And when it woke up, it was like, I'm out. It didn't even get to live its life out on the farm. <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel bad. Oh, I feel bad. That was the last one of Joel's feels good. Don't it feel good? Oh, poor cow. Oh, poor Poland cow. Well, what about that doggy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cop dog. All right. Oh, crikey. Oh. Oh. Thinking about that dog, are you? Ah, <laughs> uh, well, man, that was Don't that was cow. a roller coaster ride. Don't have a cow swim to an island because then we'll just kill it. I would love a good movie about a cow that escapes, uh, breaks an yeah. arm of just karate people, uh -huh. karate cowing people. 
And then, like, one man finally goes over and gets that cow's heart. Yeah, and then happens. he kills it. Yeah. <laughs> we call it Raging Bull. <laughs> uh, so, okay, yeah. Uh, again, Freaky, I got a 4.5 on it. Joel's throwing down the six and a half. Yeah. Six and a half. I like I it, yep. Joel likes it a lot. That was the best movie ever. It's what it said in the car ride home. <laughs> Just because I like to be extreme. It said the best movie ever like four times. Yep. Uh, we'll be back uh, next week with our, well, it's the, it's the last episode of the year uh-huh. for us. I'm bringing it. I've certainly started on it. Okay. <laughs> you can tell by how. That was very convincing. Yep. Uh, I'm definitely putting word down on paper for this one okay i'm excited you hear him say it (laughs) i'm so excited i don't trust him i think he's lying right to my face (laughs) but we'll be back with something next week (laughs) with an episode of some sort uh then we got one more movie episode for the end of the year and then uh we are gonna be hitting our uh or i think our next episode will be our one year anniversary yeah episode so that's pretty cool uh we'll be pod men yeah, Not thank you guys all boys. for checking out the podcast, uh, making it a pretty good first year for yeah. us. Um, we'll talk more about it on the very, next episode. Very expected. But thanks for listening to this. Uh, go see Freaky. Let us know what you think about it after uh-huh. you see it. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with Joel? Uh, we need validation. We need you, we need you to prove one of us right. Yep. Because this competition is killing us. <laughs> uh, until next time, thanks for listening, as always. And follow us, like us, uh, share our podcast with a friend please tell five people about us yeah have them tell five people that's like 20 people and that's like 20 some people yeah right off the bat all right thanks guys i don't know how math works bye